Hi guys, I hope that you're all safe and well. Monday blessings. It's Mitch here and I'm just coming on to do this week's Monday guidance reading. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody that came to support me at the weekend. Wow, what a weekend it was. So um, on Saturday, I did a beautiful charity demo of mediumship at Castle Kerry and we raised £331 for pancreatic cancer. So thank you so, so much if you came along to that demo. It was a beautiful night. Lots of evidence and lots of banter coming in from Spirit. They really did put me on the spot a little bit there, um, but it was all in, in a good nature. So thank you so much if you came to that. I've had some lush th feedback from that night. So thank you so, so much. And then yesterday I was lucky enough to do the um, spiritual um, fair in Avebury in Wiltshire, run by the fantastic Evelyn White Bear. And wow, what an event that was. I was, it, the whole event was busy pretty much all day. So thank you so, so much if you came along to support me there. Um, really, really sorry to those people I didn't get time to chat with. I know there's quite a few people waiting in the wings, wanting to try and talk to me in between clients, but it was so busy. I just didn't have time to really stop. So thank you so much if you came along to, to that. There were some beautiful messages from Spirit and some powerful stuff coming in from the tarot, actually. So let's talk about Monday. Let's see what we need to know about for this week and the coming sort of energies ahead. I felt really connected and really guided to work with a really old deck that I haven't sort of um, touched base with for a very long time. Um, because the last couple of weeks I've been sort of sensing and feeling and seeing a lot of angels and as well as obviously our loved ones in spirit. There is the angelic realm. It does exist. It, it is there. And our angels are with us all the time as well. And on and off, I've been seeing angels quite a lot recently, probably more so than I've ever seen them before. They're really coming in at the moment um, to work with me, which is quite unfamiliar. I'm loving it, but it's, it's quite different from the energies I would usually pick up on. So I thought I'm going to work with a Dorian Virtue deck this week, which I know divides opinion for some people as she's now a born again Christian. But I think the uh, the um, energy of these decks when they were first sort of made, they still they still are there, you know. So I'm working with Healing with the Angels Oracle by Doreen Virtue. So these are the cards. So let's see what we need to know about for this Monday and the coming week ahead. Just want to say as well, thank you so much to everybody that's purchased a ticket for Radstock. Um, for the demo night there. That's going to be amazing. So thank you so, so much. I did put up a shout out as well that there's a date coming um, for Ilminster. So look out for that. Tickets are going to go on sale hopefully at some point this week. I will let you know when that's live. Also, for those that have been asking about Bridport, there's going to be a date coming soon. Um, I've secured a venue. I'm just at the final stages of getting it all booked and sorted out and then there'll be some tickets going live for Bridport as well. There's some other places to follow so I am trying my best guys to sort of listen to where you want me to go to. If there is somewhere you really want me to go to and you want to come along and support me at then do either leave a comment or drop me a message and we'll see if we can get that location booked in. I'm still working on trying to secure something in Epsom because um, I know a few people have been asking about that. So I'm trying my best, guys. Um, so hopefully there's going to be, well, I know there's going to be some more dates to follow. Um, just a reminder that Froome is happening. That's the next um, big demo. So that's tickets are selling quite well for Froome. Foxy's Den. So that's always a fab night. Um, I can't actually remember off the top of my head when that is. I'm very scatterbrained today. But um, look out on my website and you'll see all the links for everything. So let's get back to Monday and let's see what we need to know about. OK, there was a card that popped out, but I didn't feel it came out properly. So I put it back in. If you just saw that, <laughs> like, um, it just, just felt like it sort of didn't come out as it should have done. So I'm just being a bit disciplined now because I'm waffling away here. So let's get serious with these cards. That's better. 
romance interesting i see this in two ways there are quite a few people at the moment that are starting to connect with people on a romantic level i've um, been coming across that quite a lot in readings so there might be some sort of new connections there might be some romantic loves that are coming in for you but i also see romance as a romance with embracing life it's like the romance you have for life as well so I think this is coming in in two parts. I definitely see it as connecting with people around and there may be that romantic love, there may be that romantic connection, you know, those hearts kind of kindling um, into one and all of that. But I definitely sort of see this as also a romance for life, you know. So if some of you felt a bit stuck, if you felt a bit stagnant this week, you're going to feel lighter, you're going to feel brighter, you're going to really feel like you're part of something or that there's opportunity to invest in something and that's going to give you that romantic sort of feeling so i don't just see it as sort of um connecting with a person although it can be that as well but i see this as personal romance in two ways so it's an exciting time this week i think it's going to be cool this card is buzzing with energy so if love is given if it's shown if romance is offered up you know, embrace it in the right set of circumstances, take it for what it is. But also it's that romance um, for what you actually want to be doing, for what you want to be part of. What something that was quite interesting at the weekend, a lot of people were saying to me, don't you feel drained? Don't you feel tired? You know, because you do a lot of work. And yes, I do do a lot of work, but I do also love what I do. So I have, in a sense, quite a romance for the sort of um, energy of spirit and the work I do for them. Having said that, Mondays are always a day off for me. So I am going slow today. I am taking a rest. I am having a breather today. Um, but yes, I, I love what I do. So it's almost like it doesn't feel like work for me. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a way of living, which is beautiful. So that can be part of that romance when we're connected to something that's truly our passion, truly our calling. So an interesting card this week. I just want to say I haven't forgotten anybody that has purchased voice um, records and I am going to be working through those over the coming days. But like I say, I do need a little day off today on Monday just to rest, to recoup and recharge my energy. Because even though I can push myself to a point, I don't want to have a burnout. So it is important that I also listen to myself. So, but thank you for those people that do have been checking up on me saying, oh, you know, you're you're pushing yourself too hard. Um, I'm not. I know my limits. I know when I am pushing myself too hard and I know when I do need to rest. But thank you for your concern. Um, it does mean a lot. So I'm going to leave that card with you. I hope it makes sense. Have a fantastic week ahead, guys. And I will catch up with some of you lovelies later on in the week. Just a reminder to say this coming Saturday, you'll be able to find me in Wincanton at Amy Michelle's um, Psychic Fair, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Free entry, really looking forward to being there this week. I am fully booked for reads, so if you're hoping to get a reading with me there, unfortunately I'm actually already fully booked. But come along because there are some fantastic stores, some fantastic therapists, some fantastic readers. Mum will be there with her stall as well, as I know a few people have been asking, is mum coming to this one? Yes, she is. You'll be able to catch up and see her if you want to purchase anything. So fabulous. Happy days. So I'm going to leave it with you. Stay safe and well. Love and blessings. Bye for now.